Hello and welcome to the Aviation Level 100 channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys later. First of all, you want to make sure that your Flight Simulator X is not running, otherwise, this won't work until you restart Flight Simulator X again. So, first off, you want to open your Internet Explorer or Firefox or Google Chrome, whatever you've got. And at the top, where my mouse is now, you want to type in www.flightsim.com. There's also another site called Simviation. Which you can get aircraft, scenery, etc. from there. But I prefer flight sim because it's got more on it. I just have to say with flight sim as well, you have to have an account, it's free. Make an account, you can download all the aircraft you would like. Just put your mouse on search and you've got news, article search, and file library search. You want to click on file library search. We've got search only file section, so you can search for all FSX files, all FS2004, FS98, 2000, and all the categories. It's going to put all FSX files, and then you put a name or an aircraft. For example, I'm just going to put a Boeing 777. Start search. Here you go. So I'm just going to download the Korean Air Cargo Boeing 777, click download, I accept and click start download. You can click save if you want to save it in any documents or just open just to open the window to so drag a file out and then the file and then that will go. I'm just going to click open for now. Depending on the file size, it will take longer, if it's smaller, it will take a less amount of time. In this case, it's going to take 6 minutes. I have to wait now. You can exit Flight Sim or Simulation, whatever you are using now, like I've done. And the, it's finishing now. <coughs> Right, it's finished and this window will pop up and you drag this file and maybe more there's more you drag them all to your main screen home screen Just grab it and drag it anywhere on here accept and it's just copying the themes to the desktop you don't need this anymore you can exit this here you have it. Double click. And here are all the files you need. You can see just by the, 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 the name of the file, POSSE 777-200-LRF. Click on that. You see it's the main aircraft. So you want to drag that out to the main. And effects as well. In this case, it's quicker just to right click, copy, and then go to computer, ASO, or whatever system you're working, your computer is, programs or programs times 86. Scroll down to you find Microsoft Games, which is here, and flights Microsoft Flight Simulator X. Scroll down so it says Sim Objects, which is here, and Airplanes. And if you download animals, it'll be animals, boats, and boats, and roadcraft, etc. And this is an airplane, so you want to click Airplanes, and then you just this is the, all the airplanes I've got. Right click again and paste. And then it's set. It's copying the themes into there now. 
minimize that. So here's an effects folder. I want to right, copy that. We'll go back to the airplanes. I want to go back to the Microsoft Flight Simulator X main directory. And look for the file that says effects. Click on that. Right click and um, paste. If you've if you have downloaded any add-on aircraft before, but I'm sure if you're watching this video you haven't, this will not appear because but because I have downloaded other aircraft before, it seems that the effects are the same as the other ones. You just if this is the case you click yes and just cancel. You won't need the effects. And sometimes I'll be gouge file, in this case there isn't, and that's just about it, you don't need this anymore, or this, now you can open Microsoft Flight Simulator X, it should be the same for Flight Simulator 2004 as well I'm presuming. And make sure it's an FSS aircraft you're downloading, because if it's an FS2004, it doesn't always appear. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the file. Current aircraft change. <coughs> Excuse me. Just have to scroll up, I'll look down, try and find it. Hey, my Boeing. Here you have it. Boeing 777FB5 Korean Air Cargo, just double click that. And there you have it. On some Android aircraft, you want to have sound or just a default sound. If you want to download sound on off flight, same, you just do the same procedures, and the file comes up. In the, for example, in the Korean Air Cargo file, there will make there'll be a file named sound. You remove that, and you put the new one in, and then it'll have a nice sound, like a GE 90 engine sound. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope, hope you comment and subscribe if you have anything that you didn't understand or any concerns. Just leave a comment below and I'll talk to you guys later.